Okay, you guys, so I had another video uploaded on my phone that um, I've been trying to upload for the past fucking f damn near four hours, but um, for whatever reason, my phone's deciding to be stupid and not upload it right to YouTube, so uh, fortunately, we got to deal with shitty webcam quality video while um, for, my post for my post game, so I apologize about that, but uh, anyway, man, um. Not too pissed at this game. Personally, I didn't think we were going to have a chance in hell to fucking win this game to begin with. But, um, I give it up to the guys. It was a good effort. They hung, they hung in there, I guess, as best they can. Of course, like, four or five turnovers, whatever the fuck we have, didn't help. And then, um, the ref fucking us out of that touchdown that Ivory reached across on the goal line. He scored, but they called it a fumble because he lost it at the end. And then at the end, on the fourth down play on our last offensive possession, the fucking Chiefs defender was all over Brian Walters when Blake threw a perfect pass to him that sh that should have been caught. But, of course, they didn't call that right either. So, yeah, we kind of... So, yeah, that between that, turnovers, and, you know, just missed opportunities, we kind of got fucked. But, um, proud of the guys for hanging in there. I mean, the Chiefs are a good fucking team. So... Shout out to shout out to Village Boy. I mean, y'all probably lock up a wild card, but um, it just sucks because we could have won. Cause this game during the trip, we put out a great effort and could have won this game. Blake Boros, y'all can say y'all can say what the fuck you want about him, but the dude's making efforts. You can tell the dude is making efforts to get better, and he acts like he gives a fuck. He's he's not even close to. The worst quarterback we've ever had, we've ever had on this fu on this fucking team. So, as a matter of fact, he's as a matter of fact, he's probably not even anywhere near the bottom. Well, I wouldn't say anywhere near, but I'm saying he probably isn't. He def as a matter of fact, he definitely isn't the worst quarterback in the league right now. Just, I think people need I think people need to be a little bit more patient with him and wait till next year to decide to decide that um. When we actually get a good coaching staff, when he at when I think that nah, I'm seeing this all fucked up, but um, I think people need to wait till next year when we have a good coaching staff to decide whether he's the guy or not because um, he's making improve he's making improvement this eh, improvements this year, but um, he still got a lot of shit to work on and um, I think he'll he'll fix it in the off season. I mean. Remember, this was a guy who was second in the league in touchdowns last year, so I think it's I think it's in there for Blake. He's just got to put it together and has to get a great coaching staff around him. But he he played a pretty good game. Fucking um, Chris Ivory, even though he got fucked out of that fumble, he had a pretty good game. This when he ran over Ron Parker. I mean, that's the shit we've been waiting to see from Chris Ivory. So hopefully that can hopefully that continues. I still I still say the rest of our running backs are fucking ass. We need to fix this offensive line, and we need to draft Leonard Fournette or Davin Cook to um, help get this run, help get this running game where it needs to be. Because um, unless Chris Ivory really shows his ass like he did this, like he did this game, I don't think the answer are running backs on this team. T.J. Yeldon's fucking garbage, even though even though he did catch a touchdown, but shit, he fumbled twice on stupid ass plays. But um. Yeah, he had a good, but anyway, Ivory had a good game. Bortles had a good game. Um, Allen Allen Robinson, besides the play, he pretty much gave up on when when he Bortles dropped in a pass that was right in front of his face. He made no fucking effort whatsoever to catch it. But other than that, he had a pre, he had a pretty good game. Marquise Lee was balling today. Mercedes Lewis actually had a couple good catches today, and um. Gotta pray for my boy, um, Alan, Alan Hearns, man. I mean, he got hurt er once early, and then he came back, and then he ended up taking a big shot over the middle of the field, and he got out again. I really hope injuries aren't starting to catch up with that dude, so, um, I hope he, I hope he's okay, because really, out of everybody on our team, he probably plays with the most heart out of anybody. Not saying he's playing the best out of anybody right now, but, um, he's definitely playing with a lot of heart. Defense sh defense showed up for the most part today, other than the pl other than the fucking defensive scheme where, and really I don't even blame this on the players, but a fucking play where um, Telvin Smith was covering their slot receipt slot receiver. I mean, how do you fuck that up? But 
Any, I mean, this stupid shit, it's still Gus Bradley's co coaching scheme. Like, stupid shit where we're getting linebackers and defensive ends to cover wide receivers. It's fucking retarded. Like, it, it really just needs to stop. That's why we need to get this motherfucker out of here. And then, um, Nathaniel Hackett, um, he actually called a fairly decent game today. Like, he re like, our offense looked like it had that extra pep that it need needed, even though we didn't put up many, uh, many points. Because, I mean, the Chiefs do have a very good defense, but we need, but, um, it actually looked like shit was starting to click, click right with him calling the plays, and it won, and there wasn't any plays other than maybe that fourth down play when, um, we tried to get cute and hit Hearns on a fade route when really we should have just ran Rodri up the middle. But, um, other than that, but other than that, he called a fairly decent game today, but... Todd Wash and Gus Bradley and some of the defensive calls were just fucking retarded. Why we really need to revamp this coaching staff. I'm not sure if um, Nathaniel Hackett should sit, should stay or not. I mean, I think the jury's still out on him, but um, he had a pretty good he had a pretty good start to his coaching career today. But um, well, not his coaching career, his offensive coordinator job with the Jaguars. But um, let's see what else. I mean, I guess at this point there's not much to say. We're two and six. We're two and six now, and pretty much unless we win every game from here on out, and with Gus Bradley as our head coach, that is not going to fucking happen. We're pretty much screwed for this year. So, um, but I want the guy. But I still want the guys to. There's still an issue of pride here. Like I still want this team to win no matter what, any no matter who we play. I think we got the Texans next. I want to beat these motherfuckers really bad. So. Hopefully we finish strong and at least finish and at least finish better than five and eleven. But we got a tough road ahead of us, so it's basic. It's basically it, man. I mean, we play like honestly, we played better than I thought we would. I mean, Arrowhead is a very tough place to play on the road, so give the guys credit for putting forth a pretty good effort. But um, just came up, just came up short. I felt I felt better about this game than I have in the late, and than I have the last two games. That's for sure. But um, I don't know, man. See what happens next week. But um, let's start building some shit towards towards next year, and uh, hopefully we can win some more fucking games, man. Uh, that's all. That's all I got, man. Your boy jagging off. I'm checking out. Always still do till I die.